Whiteman and Bullinger, and the tip goes to the Zebras. We are underway. Shot was off. It's going to be out of bounds off the Tigers. Out of shell will inbounds here on baseline left. Kicks it out. Clevenger, three pointer off the front iron. Rebound to the Tigers. going to be a blocking foul called on Bullinger. It's going to be a shooting foul for Peru going to the line is number 24, Brooklyn Garner. That's Bullinger's first, the team's first. And that went off the mark a little bit there. Just underway here with the JV contest from Peru High School. Still no score, 6 12 to go here in the first quarter. You can tell it's a little different view from what you're used to uh, seeing us. There's a three pointer for Mia Hadishel. Gets the zebras on the board and a little full court pressure picking up, and that's going to be out of bounds. And it will be a turnover. Ball goes back over to the Zebras. So we are up in the uh, corner of the gym here today. You can see the different angle. But uh, makes it a little challenging to film from. But done it a few times, so hopefully we can get you a good picture here. And uh, a couple out of bounds lines there. That one that uh, Riley stepped on. That's a little a little deceiving right there. It's hard to hard to distinguish. It looks like there's two different out of bounds lines. There's a steal for the Tigers. Just inside the three-point line, that is a two for number 10, Asbel. Out of shells three off the mark. Oh, her hand was on the line. Good hustle that time by Weidman, but the uh, right hand was over the line as she had the ball. Gives the ball back to the Zebras. Out of shell thought about a corner three. Kicks it across to Riley Clevenger. Clevenger has had a great start to her season. Three ball on the way, off the mark. And good job, rebound to Howdeshell. McCarter, three ball off the front iron. 
Rebound to Garner. Carter saves it. Bollinger can't come up with it. Peru gets the ball back. Timeout on the floor for the Lady Tigers. It's a 30, so we'll keep it here. First a timeout used by Peru. An early 3-2 lead here for the Zebras. About halfway through the first quarter, Mia Houdeshell with the three-pointer for the Zebras. And Sydney Asbell has two for Peru. It will be Peru ball coming out of the timeout. Tipped out by McCart. No, that's not McCarter. That's a long way away there to look at that. That was Lily Watson that tipped that one out. Peru have the inbounds under their basket. And Hadeshell comes up with it on the steal off the inbounds play. McCarter three ball off the front iron. Rebound to the Tigers. Shot off the mark, and there's going to be a foul called on number 24, Brooklyn Garner. Oh, nice look. Couldn't quite get it to McCarter. McCarter tips it away. And eventually here, the Tigers come away with the ball. Oh, a wide open look in the paint that time for Betcher. Not able to put that in. We're going to have a zebra foul. Sydney Asbell going to go to the line shooting two for Peru. The foul was on Mia Hadeshell, her first team's second. And the first free throw is good. Ties us at three. Asbel has all three of the points for Peru. And gives the Tigers their first lead of the game. Asbel has four, and the Tigers lead 4-3. Reem pokes it away from how to shell, but not able to save it before it goes out of bounds. So it will be Rochester's ball on the far sideline. How to shell. And that one in to Bullinger. She can't put the shot in, but she gets fouled and she'll go to the line shooting two. That foul is called on Weidman, her first, second on the team. Bowling her off of the mark on her first free throw. Second one short for Bollinger. She fights and gets the offensive board. Carter, eight-footer. And that one is going to be thrown off of Bullinger. Nice work there by the Tigers. Hey. 
Full court pressure by the Zebras. Tigers break it. Layup opportunity for Garner. She's not able to convert. It's going to go out of bounds. It will be Zebra ball. Clevenger, three. Riley Clevenger gives the Zebras back the lead. And the pressure causes a turnover. Clevenger and one makes the bucket and she'll go to the line to shoot the and one opportunity. Five quick points by Riley Clevenger and the Zebras back in front, 8-4. Free throw here by the freshman is good. Make that six points. Now a five-point lead for the Rochester Zebras. That one almost bounced on the inline as the inbounds was thrown. Coming back the other way, off the mark. Rebound bucket is good for Luke Sinsel. Lucy Luke Sensel on the putback bucket for Peru. Bad handoff there on the weave. Peru comes up with the loose ball. Minute 20 to go here in the first quarter. Zebras lead 9-6. Carter has the rebound, gets it out to Riley Clevenger. Clevenger picks up her dribble. Doesn't sound like her dad was too happy with that. Had a shell thought about a three from the right wing. And she's going to take an extra step. Emily Viger checks into the game for Rochester. Back in is Peyton Weidman for the Bengal Tigers. That one's going to be tipped out of bounds, and they're going to say off of Peru. Thirty-two seconds to go here in quarter number one. How to shell pull up jumper? Fifteen, no good. Loose ball. Good job. McCarter comes up with it. Hadeshell drives to the lane, can't convert. Rebound to Betcher. Loose ball. And the Zebras come away with it. So at the end of one, Rochester leads the Peru Tigers 9-6. We'll take a break and come back with the second quarter here from Peru High School in just a moment here on RTC TV4. I'm back here at Peru High School after one quarter in the JV contest. The Lady Zebras lead the Peru Tigers 9-6. Riley Clevenger came in and had, well, she didn't come in, she started, but she had quick uh, six points. She hit a three, stole the ball, had a two and then a free throw. And that gave the Zebras back the lead. And they've held on to it ever since. Not a huge uh, scoring output by either team in that first quarter, but the Zebras do have a three point lead as we move into quarter number two here on RTC TV4.
Betcher with the jumper. Cuts the zebra lead to one. And a turnover. So the Tigers get the ball back. Opportunity to take the lead here early in the second quarter. Shot off the mark. Rebound on the weak side by Weidman. Not able to put it in. Zebras bring it back across. Eccles shot off the mark. Extra step taken that time by Caitlin Converse. Gives the ball back over to the Zebras. Pass inside. Weaver is going to be fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot two for the Zebras. That foul was on Betcher. That's her first. Team's fourth. Two shots for Weaver. Her first one is off the front iron. 5'10", junior for the Zebras. And the second one is good. Zebra's back in front by two. Oh, before the shot, they're going to say that was a nice step through move there by Ream. Able to get freed up there. Emily Viger picks up her first. Eccles pokes it out of bounds. Nice sportsmanship there helping the girl up. Good defense by Eccles, putting the pressure on the Tigers. Contested jumper that time by Ream. And we're going to have a jump ball. That will be a zebra ball on the jump. Clevenger was looking for Eccles. Her pass off the mark. Gives the ball back over to the Tigers. 4.38 to go in the first half. Zebras lead 10-8. Good recovery by Clevenger. That was a nice cross-court pass that... Uh, Left Garner open for a moment, but Clevenger quickly recovered. Weak side rebound, Garner no good. Weak side rebound, Weidman no good. It's going to be out of bounds off of Rochester. Lily Watson and Audrey Bowling are going to check back in for the Zebras.
Halfway through quarter number two here at Peru High School, the Zebras lead 10-8. And that one's going to be out of bounds off the Tigers. Tie up, that will go to Peru. Ball knocked away. Off the mark, offensive rebound for the Tigers, but a travel call. <laughs> McCarter just inside the line, two-pointer for Ella McCarter. Lucy Luke Sensel with the two pointer for the Tigers. <laughs> Foul coming here on the Zebras. I think they're going to get Viger, 42. Her second team's. Fourth. Three pointer in and out for Asbel. Oh, nice pass in. Bullinger can't put it in, but she's going to get fouled. She'll go to the line shooting two for the Zebras. Audrey 0 for 2 from the free throw line here this evening. And the first one is good for the freshman. Makes it 13-10. Keaton Doran checking into the game for Rochester. Second free throw from Bullinger. Rolls in. Got the shooter's touch. Two points now for the freshman Bullinger. The lead is back up to four for Rochester. Clevenger comes up with that loose ball. Kicks it over. How to shell right wing three pointer. Good. Mia. How to shell. 4 3. Second one here for How to shell. She has six. And it's a seven point advantage for the Zebras. Inside out, gives it back up to Clevenger. Doran thought there might be somebody else there. That pass was off the mark. And uh, it was, in fact, probably intended for her. Gives the ball back over to the Tigers. 
It's like an African jungle in here tonight. We got zebras and tigers. Yeah. Carter gets the board and the foul coming on Peru. That's number six on the Tigers. So next foul will put Rochester in the one and the bonus. That's the second on Briley Betcher. Carter back up, how to shell right wing off the mark, rebound on the weak side to Asbel. Asbel brings it across, and it's going to go out of bounds. It will be Rochester's ball. 45.8 seconds to go here in the first half. How to shell baseline three, no good. Bullinger gets the Tip over to McCarter for the offensive glass. Gets it back up. Clevenger is going to reset the offense. Try to go inside. That pass was deflected and stolen by the Tigers. Asbel shot off the mark. McCarter tries to save it. Unfortunately, not able to keep it in bounds. Shot off the mark at the buzzer after one half here at Peru. The Zebras lead 17 10 over the Peru Tigers. We'll take a break and come back here with some halftime stats. Get you ready for second half action from Peru High School here on RTC TV4. Looks like the starting five on the floor for both teams as we start the second half. Oh, nice look inside. Everybody left Bullinger all alone, and she gets the roll with the left hand. Zebras start off here in the second half right where they left off in the first with a nice play. Good assist that time from Ella McCarter. Clevenger runner can't get it to drop. Rebound to the Tigers. Weidman gets the glass. And they're going to get a foul on Ella McCarter from behind. Actually, she was in front. Lily Watson stole the ball from behind. That is the first on McCarter. A couple nice inbounds plays for Peru, but they were not able to capitalize that time. How does Shell looked at the three? Inside, Bullinger goes up strong, can't get it to go. Nice crossover move from Asbel. Not able to put in the three pointer. Rebound McCarter. And Clevenger quickly brings it across the timeline for the Zebras. Kick out three off the mark that time. Zebras get another opportunity here with the glass. All the way in, McCarter. Can't put it in, and she's going to get called for a frustration foul from the backside. That will be her second, team's at second. Lucy, 
Luke Sensel checking in. Lucy Luke Sensel checking in for Peru. She was tied for the lead for the Tigers in scoring in the first half with four. No, no call there. Looked like either a travel. And Asbel just inside the line. Asbel has six. Clevenger can't put it in. Tipped away from behind. Bollinger has it. Shot off the mark. Stolen by Watson. Kicks it back out. How to shell will reset. Just inside the three-point line, shot is good. Lily Watson, 4-2 for the Zebras. Extra step there by Bullinger. Nine point lead with 3.51 to go here in the third. Zebras leading 21 12 over the Peru Tigers in the JV contest. So I guess I'm going to Sunday morning. Yeah, I got to watch the game. I got Godwin, too. He's questioning. All right, I think we're back here. Sorry about that. <laughs> Wi-Fi kicked us off. We had to uh, go to our MyFi for a minute here. We'll hopefully get back on their Wi-Fi. Just the end of uh, the third. After three, it is the Zebras 27 and the Tigers 13. Make sure I got the score right. I do. The Peru ball here as we start the fourth quarter. Garner gets the Tigers on the board here to start the fourth quarter and there is a steal. Drive to the bucket, no good that time for number 20, Reem. Hadashell brings it back across the timeline for the Zebras. Looked like she just kind of lost control of the ball there, and the steal, Peru comes up with it. Shot off the mark, and that will be a jump ball. It will be the Zebras picking up the ball on the alternating possession. Eccles, that was a nice drive and a finish about 10 feet for Eccles. That will be out of bounds. 
Ball back over to the Zebras, 14-point lead, 5.08 to go here in the JV contest. is stolen that time by Caitlin Converse. Shot no good, but she'll go to the line shooting two as she was fouled on the attempt. That's going to be on Bullinger, her second. Team's fifth here in the second half. And the first one is short. And the roll on the second. And there's a steal. Poked away that time by Lily Watson, but it will be Peru's ball. Watson pokes it out again. And Bollinger that time gets the steal. How does Shell able to save it? And there's going to be a foul. Looks like they're going to get Watson on the foul. And that'll send Garner to the free throw line, shooting two for the Tigers. Now they're going to give that one to McCarter, her third. Garner puts in the first. Cuts the lead to 12. And early across the line, no good on the shot, even though it went in. Oh, how does Shell's pass gets through somehow to McCarter? Carter got herself uh, pinned there in the corner. Coach Bowers calls a timeout. The yeah, 30 for the Zebras. We'll keep it here. 3.49 to go. Zebras lead by 12. It will be Rochester ball when we get back out of the timeout. Zebra ball here out of the timeout called by Coach Bowers. That one's going to be stolen on the inbounds play, so the Tigers come back with it. Double dribble called, though, on Peru. We'll give the ball back over to the Zebras. Oh, 
3.45 to go here in the JV contest. The Zebras lead 29-17. Trying to keep their record unblemished on the 21-22 season. Oh, yeah. Foul coming up on the Zebras. That's going to be on Lily Watson. That is the seventh team foul. That puts Peru in the bonus the rest of the way. Shooting one and one for the Tigers is number 23, Caitlin Converse. One of two from the free throw line here this evening. Off the front iron on that one. Bollinger gets the rebound. Good ball movement. McCarter tries to get in. Bollinger kicks it back out. Nice slip. Bollinger. Count it and one. And in and out, back in, Bollinger completes the three-point play. Out of shell, going to force a jump. That'll be Tigers retaining possession. Tipped away. Tigers able to come up with it, but a travel call. This is the ball back over to the Zebras. Shell is going to be fouled. Emily Ream going to pick up the personal. That's only the fourth team foul, though, on Peru. So no free throws for the Zebras. 2.22 to go here in the game. 15 point Zebra lead, 32 17. Clevenger almost gets the uh, shot to go, and it's going to be out of bounds off of the Zebras. Betcher checks back in for Peru. <laughs> Blocking foul coming on the Zebras. That's the third on Bollinger. That's going to put Asbel at the line. And the first one off the mark for the freshman. Her first miss from the free throw line. She's two for three. Second one is good. Nice kick out. Clevenger, baseline three, off the mark. McCarter trying to get the weak side board. Garner comes away with it for the Tigers. Oh, 
Betchel shot off the mark. Bullinger can't clear, but Watson able to come up with it. And then McCarter will bring it across the timeline for the Zebras. Clevenger gets blocked. McCarter, 10-footer, no good. Offensive glass, nope. Tigers able to get it. Look like Rochester might come away with that one. Just inside the three, Asdell no good. Asbell, sorry. Forty seconds to go here in the JV contest. That's going to do it. The final score, the Zebras win 32-18. JV moves their record to 5-0 oh on the season. So congratulations to the Lady Zebras JV squad. Final score here from Peru. 32-18. So we're going to take a break and reset here as we get ready to go with the varsity contest. We will join Randy Wynn and Coach Stasiak with the call in just a moment here on RTC TV4. Thanks for tuning in tonight. We'll be back here in a few.
Come on. 
Do you have any Wi-Fi issues still? Six at the end of one. Tony, we talked about these shooting woes two years ago, and they continue here tonight. Well, it's not just the shooting. Uh, zebras have, sorry, Val, to put you on the spot. How many turnovers? Eight. Eight turnovers in the quarter, and it, even their zone offense, as we said, very discombobulated. It, not sure what inside's not sure what the outside's doing. Outside's not sure what inside's doing. They've given up some transition baskets. Uh, zebras need to, to get some momentum here and get it figured out in a hurry. Zebras have the ball to start the second quarter. Hawes with it to Burkett. Burkett trying to go down low to the score zone. Now back up top to Hawes. Hawes swings it to the far side. Down in the corner to Holloway. She'll fire the three ball in and out. No good. Lexi Thomas with the rebound up and good. Thomas has two more and it's 14 to 8. 30 seconds gone by here in the second quarter. Lexi has six of the eight Zebra points. Randy went Tony stays in. Glad you join us here as the Zebras trap in the corner. And uh, yeah, good turnover for the Zebras there. Nice trap and Raybert just throws it away. It'll go out of bounds. Turnover Peru. So maybe they found something inside. You know, Lexi Thomas and score zone. Jackson, we said they all have that size advantage. It's just can they make the right pass, the right decision to get the ball inside, and it doesn't have to go there right away. Holloway with it. She tries to go to Hawes, and it's going to be stolen by Wolf uh, and a reach-in foul against Holloway. It's almost like they're unsure where they should go, so they're kind of like a quarterback stares down a receiver. Yeah. That's what they're doing. They're dribbling towards somebody, looking at them, and then throwing the pass, and it's easy deflections and steals for the Lady Tigers. One minute gone by here in the second quarter, and we're going to have a hand check against the Zebras. Her first, team second. So Burkett now with a foul. Inbounds comes right into Eldridge, and she throws up a shot. No good. Peru with a rebound. Three ball on the way by Wolf. No good. Hawes with the rebound. She gives it off to Burkett. Burkett quickly ahead to Sid. Sid, three ball on the way. No good. Rebound fought for, and Raber comes away with it. Raber, now to Bennett. Bennett with the basketball top of the key. Zebras now in... Uh, I think it's a 3-2. 3-2, okay. I was going to try to say if it was a man or if it was 3-2. Yeah. Some call 3-2, some one, call 1-2-2 two, two. Two, two on it. Ball's trapped in the corner. The picked up by Eldridge. Eldridge, and now Coach Weeks wants a timeout. Let's see what it's going to be. see the original call. 30? 30. 30-second 30 timeout with 6.20 to go here in the first quarter. We'll keep it here on the Rochester Glass scoreboard, 14-8. The Zebras trail. Jenny's Insurance in Argus and Rochester going beyond the expected for you. Fulton County Solid Waste District. Don't trash our future. Please recycle. Class Guy Memorial Hospital connecting you with excellent health care providers as well as Rochester Class. Locally owned and operated since 1956. Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins. The law firm for your current and future legal needs. Quick scoring breakdown so far. Six points for Lexi Thomas. Two points for Kennedy Jackson. And for Peru, Brianna Bennett, we mentioned maybe their best player had been out with uh, concussion. She's back. She's got six. Uh, Raver's got three. Kate Wolf's got a three. And Watkins has two off the bench for the 14 points for Lady Tigers. Kate Wolf averaging in the first four games 14 and a half points per game. So, uh, yeah, I mean, her and, her and 
and Bennett are a nice one-two punch at the guards. And here's the thing. Peru's just kind of playing. But right. I don't think the Lady Zebras play the best maybe when they play that style. They, they've got to have a little more discipline to what they're doing. And, and we see a substitution. I don't know if you mentioned this, but uh, Lily Eaton's in the game for Lady Zebras. Shot up by the Tigers. No good. Thomas with a rebound. Eaton has the ball right now. Eaton with it. Goes to Thomas on the outside. Now swings it right side to Holloway. Holloway with it. Holloway kind of just dribbling back and forth. Now gives it off to Thomas. Thomas will hand it back off to Holloway. She goes over the top to Eaton. She'll fire a three ball off the mark. No good. Burkett with a rebound. Burkett to Holloway. Right wing. She'll drive and she'll leave it for Millie score zone. Off the glass. No good. Wolf with a rebound. Five and a half to go here in the second quarter. Rice a pass by Holloway. It was the right thing to do. Nice bounce pass feed the post. You just got to finish towards the rim, not falling away. Raber throws up his shots. Off the mark, no good. Thomas pulls down the rebound. There's Eaton with the basketball for the Zebras across the timeline. She gives it off to Lexi Thomas. Thomas now in the right wing to Holloway. Three in and out, no good. Score zone picks up the rebound, throws it up, no good. Wolf with the rebound. According to Val, Lexi's halfway to double-double. She's got six points, five rebounds. And five rebounds for Kate Wolf from the Lady Tigers. Wolf in oh. the corner, and she's going to be knocked out of bounds. It'll be a turnover on the Tigers with 4.57 to go here in the first half. 14-8. Tigers lead it. Burkett out. Watson back in. So it's Thomas, Eaton, score zone. Watson and Holloway on the floor for the Zebras. Nice. Quickly ahead to Ooh. Thomas in the block. She tries to go to the opposite block to score zone. And once again, Kate Wolf got her hand in it, knocked it away. Quickly ahead is Eldridge. Eldridge with the basketball to the near side now to Bennett. Bennett against Eaton with four and a half to go here before halftime. Swings it left side to Eldridge. Back to the top, and that is Bennett. Bennett with the basketball to Eldridge, left wing. Eldridge. Picks up her dribble, throws it off to Wolf in the corner. Wolf, the give and go to Eldridge. Eldridge throws up a shot, no good. It's going to be a last touch by the Zebras as it was partially blocked by Lexi Thomas. You know, when you play a 3 2, you, you obviously are focusing more on the perimeter with those three guards, but it's going to be really imperative for whoever's inside. Now it's Thomas in score zone to stay out of foul trouble because you are susceptible to, to, to the give and goes. You don't have a post game from Peru, but basket cuts could be a problem, so the post player's got to play smart. Eldridge elbow jumper, no good. Eaton with the rebound. Eaton against Bennett in the backcourt. Kind of left her on an island, and nice job by Lily right. Eaton to get it across the timeline. Whatever happened to don't leave your wingman? <laughs> Holloway with it. Now in the corner. Looking for Lexi Thomas, and they don't get her. Watson will bring it back up top of the key. 3.50 to go here in the first half. Sid Hawes getting ready to check back in for the Zebras. Holloway with it. Goes down low to Thomas. Thomas, turn around. Has it blocked by Bennett. Excuse me, that's blocked by Kirk. And it'll be jump ball in the corner. It'll go wow. to the Peru Tigers. Uh... <laughs> Looked like Lexi Thomas went uh, went strong, but uh, no call. No call, but you don't want Lexi to not take that shot. Don't right. let that non-foul call stop you from making that post move. And it was a good, another good bounce pass to get the ball to her. Bennett with a basketball. Bennett turning the corner. Three ball on the way. Nope, just a two. Foot was on the line. Just a two for Wolf. 16-8. to eight. The Tigers have doubled up the Zebras. Yeah, it's 2-2, two, two, all right? Zebras, that's the first points for Peru, but the Zebras have only scored two themselves, so it's back to that eight-point deficit that it was at the quarter. Zebras have the basketball. Holloway down low to Thomas. Kicks it out to the corner. The three ball on the way by Eat. No good. Thomas gets the rebound. Goes back up. No good, but a foul coming. And Lexi Thomas there you go. will shoot the first free throws of the night for the Zebras. On the floor, they're saying? So no free throws. Nope. Nope. Okay. Well, yeah. at first I thought one of them was signaling on the floor. And Lexi go to the line for the first time tonight. 3.02 to go here in the first half. 16-8. to eight. Trying to cut into this lead. And the free throw is good by Lexi Thomas. Coach Jennings give Eaton some instructions. She uh, pulled everybody to go to the free throw line. We'll see what the Zebras 
Trying to mix up here, maybe change up a little bit. We well, like, regardless of whether it's a specific instruction or not, you like to see teams come together, especially when you're maybe not playing well. Bring everybody together. Let's get on the same page. Free throw missed. Wolf with another rebound. Under three to go here in the first half. 16 to nine. Bennett with the basketball. Bennett right to the hole. Knocked out of bounds by the Zebras. It'll stay with the Tigers. Not sure in the zone like that that you want to leave the dribbler and especially one of their better players with miscommunication at the top. It looked like a couple of them might have thought they were still in the 3-2 and a couple of thought they went back to a 2-3. Nordman checks in for the Tigers. Top of the keys, Eldridge. Eldridge goes off to, that's Converse. Converse shot no good. Wolf with the rebound, goes back up no good. Rebound comes away to Sid Hawes. Hawes with the basketball. Quickly ahead to Thomas. Thomas catch and gives it right back to Riley Holloway. They swing it down in the corner. Eaton will drive, kicks it back out to Watson. Watson has it. She'll bring it back up top of the key to Hawes. Hawes drives, reverses it back out to Holloway. Now to the corner to Eaton. Three ball on the way, way off the mark. And the rebound comes away to Converse. She'll give it off to Bennett. Bennett will run the point at the volleyball line. Goes right in the middle to Eldridge. Turns around the free throw line. Jumper no good. Thomas with the rebound. 2.05 to go in the opening half. Still 16-9. to nine. Tigers on the Rochester glass scoreboard. I just think in this zone offense, you got to get Lexi Thomas a touch every possession. Not, not that she's got to shoot it, but in the middle, that's wide open. She will make good decisions, but you got to continue, continue to look for her and make good passes around the perimeter. There you go. Lexi has it at the free throw line, kicks it back out. Now Watson in the corner. She'll dribble back up top the key. Now on the right wing. Tries to leave it for Holloway, stolen, and then a travel by Converse. 137 to go before halftime. 16 to 9. Tigers on top. Seavers have been fortunate. About three or four of their turnovers could have been fast breaks, yeah. but Peru commits a travel or a double dribble as soon as they get it and they catch a break where they get possession back. Jackson in, Watson out for the Zebras. 90 seconds remain here before halftime. Top of the key is Eaton. Eaton. To Thomas. Thomas kicks it go. back out to Inside Holloway. Out. Three off the mark. No good. Rebound comes up to Eaton. That was a good idea, though, right? Get it in, kick it out. It has a wide open look. Cross court to Hawes. They go down low to Jackson, but it's going to be tipped by Peru. Last touch by the Zebras as it goes out of bounds. Peru's pretty scrappy in the zone. Yeah. Uh, floaters and, and those kinds of passes just aren't going to work. They're looking for those passes. Their hands are up. They're trying to get those deflections. Um, you got That's when you got a fake high and go low with a bounce pass to Jackson, and she probably has an uncontested layup. Raber back in, sitting down will be, uh, excuse me, that's Converse sitting down. Zebras putting on the man press. Eldridge will break it, and then it's going to be tied up. It'll be Zebra basketball, turnover Tigers. Nice job by Riley Holloway there to uh, come from behind. Yeah, if your offense is really struggling, one way you can do is maybe try to press and, and get them to turn it over and maybe get some layups that way. I'm sure that's what Coach Jennings was thinking there. Minute five to go here before halftime. Like to uh, get this even closer here before halftime. Right, if you could cut it to, say, five, I think that'd be big. Thomas up off the glass. Good again. Nice pass that time coming from the top. And Lily Eaton. Nine for Thomas. Bennett with the basketball. Bennett double teamed at the line. She gets away to Wolf, and then Sid Hall is going to pick up a quick foul as Kate Wolf just a step quicker and got around her. Sid's first. Only the fourth Lady Zebras. That's a good number. Ball comes in, and yep, Raber did not make contact inbounds before she got that pass so a turnover on the Tigers is they threw it in the backcourt to Bennett she kind of grabbed it as she was falling into the backcourt but Raber had not established her footing in bounds Zebras with the basketball Hawes to Eaton with 30 seconds Eaton to Holloway back up top to Eaton Eaton goes over the top to Jackson Jackson goes to the hole throws up a shot no good Thomas with the rebound Kicks it out to Holloway. Her three ball on the way, no good. Jackson, another rebound. Jackson goes up, and she's going to be fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot two. I think they're going to get Wolf. Yes. It is on Wolf. Only her first, team's third. So with 16.4 seconds to go, Kennedy Jackson trying to cut into this lead, and she does with the first one, 16-12 now. 
Zebras can get within three, the closest they've been in a while. And as we've seen all year, uh, free throw attempts for Jackson and Thomas. Both are good for Jackson. Gotten better, right? Gotten better. Lexi was one for two in her trips this quarter. Jackson two for two. 12 seconds to go. Tigers with the basketball. Top the keys, Raber. Raber throws up a shot just inside the arc. Good for two, and it's four seconds to go. Three into Thomas, and it's stolen by Eldridge, and that's going to do it for the half. At the end of one half to complete, 18-13. Tigers on top of the Zebras on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. When we come back, we'll have the halftime show. Going to be brought to you this evening by Rice Lincoln of Warsaw. 250 north across from Walmart. Your halftime score, 18-13. Tigers lead the Zebras. Giant FM Sports and RTC TV4. But, you know, for them, they're, they're playing well. Uh, not a lot of different scorers in the game. Uh, four, four different scores for Peru. Brianna Bennett has six. Wol uh, Cameron Raber has five. Kate Wolf has five. Jenna Watkins has two off the bench. And only two scores for the Zebras, uh, Lexi Thomas with nine and Kennedy Jackson with four. So uh, basketball, life in general, is a game of adjustments. And let's see what they make. Turnovers. Turnovers for the first now. Half. For the first half. 12 to 7. 12 Rochester to seven. with 12. And rebounds for Lexi Thomas. Eight. Thanks, Val. Appreciate it. Lexi getting close to that double-double. Tigers will start with the basketball here in the third quarter. And they go in the corner to Raver. Raver back out. Has the ball tipped, and it's stolen by the Watson. Watson with the basketball. It's Watson, Hawes, Jackson, Thomas, and Eaton on the floor for the Zebras. Okay. Looks like the original to, five well, for than, Peru. You say Coach Jennings trying to mix things up. Yeah. Send some Eaton. messages, get some sparks, try something. Eaton with the basketball, top of key, dribbles to Watson. We'll see how many threes the Zebras take here in this third quarter. No, I think no. that really was too many. Right, right. In that and, first and half. Especially quick threes. Like yeah. you're playing zone, like you can get a, a zone, a, a look from the wing against the zone, uh, but you can't always get a post feed. And I think you can set those up inside out. Uh, but Jackson and Thomas have got to get touches. Each team with a turnover as the Zebras turn it back over. Now here is. Eldridge with the basketball. Top of the key. She goes to Wolf. Wolf back up top of the key. Now to Bennett. Bennett will dribble it back out and restart. Zebra's in that 1-2-2. Two, two. Bennett penetrates. Throws up a running jumper. Ball's loose. Picked up by Thomas. Thomas now off to Watson. Watson has it. She'll bring it up the timeline. Now to Hawes. Down low to Jackson. Kennedy Jackson goes to work and uh, has a shot up but partially blocked and a foul. So she'll go to the line to shoot two where she's two for two tonight right but nobody nobody on Peru's got the strength to handle her or Thomas or score zone inside and I like that from our point of view there's some good views up here yep. that you know Kennedy was able to catch square those shoulders up and go to the basket and draw the foul and not try to fade away free throw off the mark radio announcer jinx he's now two for three 18 13 still on the Rochester glass scoreboard 648 to go here in the third second free throw on the way by Jackson is good that's the lead now for the Tigers to four. Well, for the game, she's three for four, and we'll, we'll take that for the game. That's, you know, that her and Thomas both get to that 70%, and the offense will be a lot easier. Bennett with the basketball, goes down low to Kirk, stolen by Jackson, it's and but she's going to be fouled before oh. the travel, so a foul on the Tigers. On Wolf. That's Wolf's second. Team's second. Uh, fouls, Kirk has two, Wolf has two, Eldridge has one. And for Rochester, you know, only four team fouls. And anybody's got – I missed one somewhere for individually, but I don't think anybody's got two. Kirk is out. Watkins in for the Tigers. Still in that 2-3 zone on the Peru Tigers. Hauls with it in the middle to Thomas. Thomas at the block. Throws up a shot. No good. Jackson with the rebound. Throws it up again. No good. Thomas with another rebound. She loses it. Ball's loose. Going to be a jump ball. It'll stay with the Zebras. Underneath their own basket with 6.18 to go here in the third. Trailing 18-14. Trying to get that inside game going. And, you know, sometimes it clogs up the zone or the offense a little bit when you get Thomas and Jackson both at the elbows at the same time. I'd like to maybe see those two staggered go high-low. Into Jackson, out to Eaton. Eaton top of the key will reset the Zebra offense. Left side to Watson. Watson trying to get it down low to Jackson. Can't get it to her, so she'll dribble back around and leave it for Hawes. Hawes goes to Thomas, and it's tipped by the Tigers. Picked up by Raber. 
Raber with the basketball, now to Wolf. Wolf will bring it across the timeline and give it to Bennett, and she'll set the offense. Bennett at the volleyball line with 5.50 to go here in the third. Comes to the near side now to Eldridge. Eldridge picked up by Thomas. Changes directions. Has a tip from behind by Lexi Thomas. Get your head up. you got a layup. Jackson will pick it up, but she's going to be called for a push-off and an offensive foul. That is a case where if your head is up on the steal or even on your first dribble, you have three Lady Zebra back players who were past Peru. You have an easy layup but she kept her head down and tried to bully her way out of that. And right in front of the official, that was an easy call for an offensive foul. Bennett with the basketball. Bennett against Eaton. He tries to go in the corner to Eldridge and throwing out of bounds. Turnover Tigers. Busy Saturday morning. Coming up, we'll have Coach's Corner at 8 o'clock, and then we'll head to McConaughey. The Lady Zebras will be on the road taking on the Lady Braves. 11 o'clock JV start, 12.30 varsity. We'll have the pregame for you about 12.10 here on Giant FM. And if people are going, Emma, is that correct, the auxiliary gym and It is on the auxiliary gym, yes. And if you're not going, you can go over to the high school and watch the Watch the scrimmage, scrimmage, listen to the yeah. girls, right? You Combination. Two for one. Two for one. Wolf runs into Jackson. They say both of them were neutral, and they'll have a loose ball, and we'll jump it up, and it'll be Peru Tiger basketball. Hard for me to believe that somebody runs into Kennedy Jackson, and that's a neutral act. I mean, <laughs> she did a great job. She was she was strong. Uh, but no call, play on, and it's going to be Peru Tiger basketball. Bennett will look to inbound. She does get it into the corner. Eldridge has it, and a foul coming. On Lexi Thomas, a reach-in foul. Well, sometimes one half of foul calls are the, different than the other. So when they call a lot in the first half, they try to scale it back. Didn't call many in the first half, and we've already got four called here in three minutes. Bennett into Eldridge. Eldridge, five-foot jumper up and good. 20-14 to 14 now with five to go here in the third. Tigers lead it on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Coach Jennings wants a timeout, and it is... A 30-second timeout. We'll keep it here and tell you about McDonald's. Try DoorDash and get $5 off 15 for new customers only with try, with code TRYMCD. Steve Moore Insurance, small town, big service. Rice Lincoln of Warsaw, 250 north across from Walmart. Rochester Metal Products, quality iron casting since 1937. And Mike Anderson, where you'll always find a familiar face. All proud supporters of Zebra Basketball here on Giant FM. 4.56 to go on the Rochester Glass scoreboard, 20-14, to 14, Tigers. Yeah, uh, other winter sports are going too. Don't want to forget uh, yeah, we're going to have an outstanding wrestling. wrestling team. I believe they start on the road Friday night. Kind of new for wrestlers. There's a Friday night match, I think, at Manchester. Okay. Uh, the girls' swim team has started with one meet. Uh, boys have not yet. I think they have a dual meet coming up soon. Sorry, I don't have that. I was talking to Peyton Height, one of the swimmers at Goshen. Is that Saturday? Tuesday. Tuesday. Thanks, Val. Co-ed at Goshen. So, yeah, everybody everybody, everybody gets getting... going here soon. It's, it is the season, and the weather certainly is uh, showing that tonight. <laughs> Great night to be in the gym. Yes. Hawes with the basketball after the zebra timeout. She comes to the near side to eat and download to Thomas. It's wide open through. up off the glass. Good. Good fundamentals, didn't waste energy, didn't waste steps, didn't waste energy, just turned, pivoted, squared those shoulders up, easy layup, 11 for Thomas. 20 to 16. Zebras trail by four. Bennett penetrates, kicks it back out to Eldridge. Eldridge will leave it for Wolf. Wolf, free throw line jumper on the run, no good, but a foul coming. She'll go to the line to shoot two. I think that's going to be Jackson, her second. The thing that Zebra's got to remember. Wolf being that left-handed shooter. Just going to say that. It, it kind of throws them off a little bit. Right, that's where scouting report comes in. You know, these players, uh, you know, there's a little dribble weave by the Lady Tigers, and you got to know when Wolf gets it, she wants to go left, so you got to force her to your left, which is her right. First one's good by Wolf. Coming in will be Riley Holloway. Sitting down will be Sid Hawes with 4.22 to go here in the third quarter. Randy Wayne, Tony Stazan, glad you could join us tonight. Wolf's second free throw is good. Wolf has seven. She's got a three, a two, and two for two from the line. 22-16. Quickly ahead of the Zebras. Watson against Wolf. Down low to Jackson. Jackson dribbles, kicks it back out to Watson. Three on the way. Off the mark, no good. And the rebound comes to Raber. Raber quickly ahead to Wolf. Wolf turns and attacks the basket, and then kicks it back out to Bennett. They'll swing it right side to Eldridge. 
Eldridge dribbles in. She'll fire up the five-footer. No good. Rebound. Tipped around. Last touch. Tigers. Zebra basketball. Zebras have not yet hit a three. Once again, they've only got two scorers. Thomas and Jackson have scored all their points, but uh, quite a few attempts, but no made threes yet for the Lady Zebras. Watson with the basketball top to Keat. Goes to the right side. Nope. Thought she was going to go to Lexi and passes it up. Now Holloway. Back up top to Eaton. Watson, Eaton, and Holloway along with Thomas and Jackson on the floor for the Zebras. Eaton top of the key. No. To the corner to Thomas. Back out to Watson. Lexi's calling for the ball, and Watson can't get it to her because she's fouled by Rayburn. Third team foul for the half for Lady Tigers. That's one of those things where it's look inside, but don't force inside, right? See if it's there. Keep the ball moving. Don't want to hold it too long anywhere against the zone. Uh, but if you don't have an inside look, can't get it there with one dribble, uh, keep it moving around the perimeter and let the next person give it a shot. Score zone in. Jackson out. Top of the key is Eaton. Eaton goes to the right side now to Watson. Watson still keeps her dribble, now picks it up. Gives it off to Eaton, right wing. Eaton picks it up, now gives it off to Watson. Watson has it, dribbling around the top of the key, now gives it off to Eaton. Those two guards for Peru at the top of the zone are almost double teaming the ball yeah. up top. you got to get a pressure release from the inside or out. The give and go from Holloway in the corner to Thomas. She's got two more. Lexi did a nice cut that time and cut right between the defense. She's two more, 22-18. Yeah. Still a four-point game. Pass against his own, that's a great time to cut. Wolf with the basketball to Eldridge. Eldridge right around the screen, throws up a shot good. Eldridge with all four of her points this quarter. 24-18, back to a six-point lead for the Tigers. Yeah, those two at the top are playing so high and almost trapping the ball at the point. You got to get a release either one in the middle at the free throw line or kick it to the wings quickly and then take your advantage behind it. Watson with the basketball from the screen by Thomas, reverses it to Eaton. Eaton on the right wing. Back up top to Watson, swings it left side now to Holloway. Her three ball on the way. Back off the iron, no good. Thomas with the rebound, puts it back up. They're going to call a foul before the shot, so it'll be Zebra basketball out of bounds. With a minute 58 to go here in the third, 24 18 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard, Tigers over the Zebras. Watkins first, team's fourth. So the Zebras doing a decent job of, of and we've drawing got some, some fouls. Mass confusion <laughs> going on as it's like to summer league check in. Coach yeah. said go in. Well, you got to wait till the referee calls you in. And they won't let the sub come in as the play was already in, so they'll reset the play. Watson into score zone. Score zone has it stripped by Eldridge. Bennett's on the run, and she's going to be fouled and a reach in by Holloway as Bennett was just that much quicker. And she tried, Holloway tried to reach in and slapped her on the wrist. It's so going to be Watson's first. They got Watson instead of Holloway. In is Burkett. Out is Eaton with a minute 54. Raber looking to get it in. She finally does get it in to Nordman. Nordman with the basketball right in front of the Tiger bench. Swings it to Raber. Raber, three ball on the way. Off the mark, no good. Burkett with the rebound. Burkett will let everybody clear out. Now she'll bring it up with a minute 38. Ooh. Tipped out of bounds by Bennett trying to go to mm -hmm. Holloway in the corner. and Kind of a long, gutsy yeah. pass there. Similar kind of things we said. They're just staring down receivers, right? They're not seeing the floor with their head up. They're they're bringing the ball, and they're just locking in on who they want to throw it to, and it's giving the Lady Tigers an opportunity to steal or at least deflect those passes. Burkett, top of the key. Burkett has it, comes to Watson. Watson looking cross-court pass to Holloway. Top of the key to Burkett. They're going to have to swing it a little quicker than that, and I think they might get something open. Holloway stares yeah. down Lexi Thomas yeah. and has the ball kicked. They say there's a difference between looking and seeing just as there's a difference in hearing and listening. Zebras will have it. And oh, the years I've heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Over the top to Thomas on the inbound pass. Thomas back out to Watson. She'll fire a three from the corner off the mark. No good. And Wolf with another rebound. 24-18. Tigers look to push. Bennett up the timeline. Minute five. 
Down low to Eldridge. Eldridge down to Nordman. Has it stripped by Thomas. Picks it back up. Throws up a shot. No good. But a foul coming. I believe it's going to be on score zone for a push. Yeah, the look like Lady Tiger kind of sold that foul a little bit. It's going to be Millie's second, team's fifth, as the fouls are starting to pile up here in the third quarter uh, after having seven fouls called on both teams combined in the first half. We've got nine fouls called here in seven minutes. Nordman gets the first free throw, so it's 25-18. 61 seconds left in the quarter. Second free throw is good again by Nordman. Lady Tigers, perfect four for four from the line this quarter. Eight point lead now for the Peru Tigers. Under a minute. Holloway with the basketball. Top the key to Burkett. Burkett has it, swings it left side to Hawes. Hawes holds. Top to Burkett. Burkett goes to Thomas, but she wasn't there. Stolen by Peru. Bennett, coast to coast. And a foul coming, and Bennett will go to the line to shoot two. With 41 seconds to go here in the third. Second foul on Burkett, but even a bigger number than that is the sixth-team foul for the Lady Zebras. So this Peru Tiger bunch is going to shoot free throws the entire fourth quarter. And when you're trailing, it's the last thing you want to do. Because every mistake you make, every little hand check or whatever is going to send the Lady Tigers to the line where they are a perfect 5-for-5 five five after that made free throw by Bennett. 27-18 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Tigers over the Zebras. Second one, good again. Ten-point lead yeah. now for the Tigers. Three different players for the Tigers are two for two, so uh, I don't think following them might be is going to be the best strategy in the fourth quarter. Bennett, or excuse me, Burkett with the basketball against Bennett. Holloway back to Burkett, swings it left side now to Hawes. Hawes trying to get it down low to score zone. She gets it, throws up a shot short, and the rebound comes away to Bennett. Millie just kind of tried to throw that one up, and she really didn't have her footing underneath her. And, here come the Tigers. Wolf with it, with 15. Wolf dribbling around the top of the key, goes to the hole, throws up a layup. No good rebound to Nordman, up and good. Nordman gets the rebound basket with five. Here's Burkett with three. Burkett with two. Burkett with one, and the Zebras don't get a shot off. At the end of the third quarter, it is now 30 to 18. Tigers over the Zebras on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Fourth quarter, after this, you're listening to Giant FM and RTZ TV4. Here at Peru High School as we get ready to start the fourth quarter. and Zebra's only putting five points on the scoreboard in that quarter. Yeah, you know, when you get down as they were at halftime, uh, 18, what is it? 18-13. Yeah, you'd like to make a run. Like you say, try to make a run. And you didn't, right? You gave up more of the lead. Y'all got, got scored 12 to 5, and Peru's going to shoot free throws the entire fourth quarter. So backs are up against the wall, and you got eight minutes to figure it out. Zebras have it to start the fourth quarter. Holloway top the key to Burkett. Burkett now with the basketball, holds, looking to Hawes, gets it to her on the left wing. Hawes trying to go down low to Thomas. Can't get it to her. Now swing it back to the top of the key to Holloway. Holloway, right side. Now top of the key to Burkett to Hawes. Now down low to Thomas up off the glass. Good. Lexi's got two more, and it's 10-point Tiger lead down. 15 for her, and the Zebras made them defend, like yeah. I say, three sides of the floor. You went one side, you went reversed it, came back, and then that got you the wide-open layup. 30-20. to 20. Zebras trail by 10. Now in the corner. Here is, let's see, that is Raber. Raber's shot no good. So we're going to have a foul coming. Against Jackson's Jackson. third. I think Kennedy Jackson has had got to be one of the tougher players to officiate because she is so strong. And like this, you're playing against smaller, sort of weaker players. They're going to bounce off her, but I don't think she's doing anything more egregious than most people are. It's just she's stronger. And, and I don't know. Eldridge, it would not, it's not easy to officiate yeah. her games, I, I can say that. Eldridge misses the first free throw of the uh, half for Peru. Second free throw is good. It's 31-20. 7-13 to go here in the contest. Tigers lead the Zebras. Burkett to Holloway. Holloway, now to Burkett. Taking too long to swing right. it. Yeah, ball Holloway. can't stick up top. It's got to move, right? Holloway you can't has it tipped, picked up by Eldridge. Eldridge now off to Bennett. Bennett with the basketball. 
Bennett and the Tigers with an 11-point lead and 6.45 to go here in the contest. Swings it to Eldridge on the right wing. Eldridge drives in. Down low to Nordrum. Throws up a shot. No good. Ball's tipped. Picked up by Sid Hawes. Hawes looking ahead. Can't quite get it to Thomas, and Hawes travels. Right, yeah. right idea. She was right. looking. She was looking up. Couldn't quite get the, the, the hand on it to get it to Lexi. And then when she could, she traveled. Yeah, that's one where as you cross half court, you need to start throttling down and not be so full speed in your dribble, right? Maybe not throttle it down to 75% and get yourself under control to make that pass. She was still at full speed and just couldn't keep her balance. Eaton back in, and Burkett sits down. Raber with the basketball, top to Eldridge. Eldridge leaves it for Wolf. Wolf back up to Bennett, and they'll reset the offense. Bennett around Hawes, down low to Nordrum. Ball's tipped, picked up by Wolf. Wolf has it. The left-hander will dribble it back around, now throw it cross-court back to Bennett. Coach Weeks says, hey, bring it back out and reset. Right, if, if the Zebras play half-court defense, I mean, Peru's got an 11-point lead. They don't necessarily have to be in a hurry. Bennett down low to Nordrum, up off the glass, good. That's just a matter of you run, you dribble out front, you get a little attack, and the post player helps up, and it's a wide-open layup. We've done that a lot over the years. It's it's a simple game sometimes. Back to 13-point lead. Zebra Lee or Zebra Trail. Full timeouts for the Zebras with 5.40 to go here in the fourth quarter on the Rochester Glass Scoreboard. Tigers 33, Zebras 20. Back with more Giant FM and RTC TV4. At Peru High School, the Zebras trail with 5.40 to go on the Rochester Glass Scoreboard, 33 to 20. Peru that time uh, just went old school. Just yeah. pull it out and, and then. Right back at attack. Just commenting to Val. I don't remember the last time. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, I don't remember the last time you, you've seen a game where only two players have scored. Uh, Thomas has 15. Jackson has five. That's the 20 points for the Zebras right there. Jackson has it in the paint. Kicks it out to Eaton. Eaton will drive, and she's going to be fouled. She'll go to the line to try to make it three Zebras right. in the scoring column. And the foul's going to be on Nordman. Her first. Team's fifth. So if the Zebras can continue to stay aggressive, they may get to the free throw line here shortly themselves. Eaton going to go to the free throw line, as you said, to try to be the third Lady Zebra to break the scoring column tonight. First free throw, good. 33-21. Eaton will have her second one. And it's off the mark. No good. Lexi Thomas with the rebound. Lexi gives it off to Sid Hawes. Hawes to Eaton. Eaton top of the key. Now to Holloway. Holloway dribbles to the left side. Now she'll come back to the right and give it off to Eaton. Eaton looking, looking. She's just yeah, mm. got to look up. Now she gives it to Thomas. Opposite. Thomas at the elbow to Hawes. Now in the corner to Holloway. Back in the corner to Hawes. Hawes over the top to Lexi Thomas. Thomas, nice turnaround jumper on. Good. Rolls it over the front of the iron. She's got two more, and it's back to a 10-point deficit. Yeah, just got to get stops and scores. You can't necessarily worry about the deficit, but on defense, you got to get a stop, and on offense, you got to get scores. Just keep the game that simple. Bennett with the basketball. Now to Eldridge. Eldridge around the screen by Bennett. Top of the key. She leaves it for Wolf. Wolf will split the defenders and a push in the back. It would be one and one for Peru. I mean, this looks... Somewhat familiar. I mean, the three-guard lineup, the dribble weave a little bit up top, keep a couple players down on the blocks, and when somebody can break in the lane, you rely on the defense to help up, and then you can drop off for an easy layup, or they follow you and you go to the free-throw line. So coming in will be Watson. Sitting down will be Hawes. Fouls on Eaton, her first team eighth. So as you said, Peru will shoot free-throws this entire quarter. Wolf's going to go to the line. She's already two for two. Good again. That's her eighth point. 34-23 with 4.28 to go. Wolf, second one on the way. Spins it in her hand, throws it up good. 35-23. Eaton with the basketball for the Zebras. Eaton to Watson. Back to Eaton. Swings the left side now to Holloway. Holloway down in the corner to Watson. Back up to Holloway, to Eaton. 
Think Still in that 2-3 yeah. zone, Peru has not come out of right. it. Zebras, no reason to right. is a zebra yeah. struggle. There's, there's no guards that can break you down off the dribble, and the passing hasn't been crisp enough or consistent enough to get the ball inside. And Likes then, of course, him. they haven't shot well because they haven't made a three either. Jackson to Thomas. Thomas comes up, and a foul, no foul. Collision underneath. and Right. The, get the big difference is Peru has two guards that can get inside the zebra zone and make things happen, and Rochester hasn't had anybody that's been able to do that, uh, and then their passing hasn't been that sharp, and, and then they haven't been able to knock down the jumper, so Peru is just kind of playing the eyes of the Zebra offense and trying to get deflections and steals that way. Eaton with the basketball, top of the key to Holloway. Holloway picks up her dribble against Bennett, gets it now into Watson in the corner. Back to Holloway, to Eaton. Over the top to Thomas at the volleyball line. Up and no good. Jackson with the rebound. Up no good. Rebound again. Good this time by Jackson. Jackson with seven. Ten-point zebra trail. 35-25 with 3.20 to go. And Bennett right around Eaton. And Eaton grabs her as she goes around her. And back to the line goes Bennett. Yep, Eaton second. Team ninth. So from here on out, after this one, Peru will be shooting two. But one and one here. 3 question will be, how how patient will Peru be? Like they've yeah. played pretty free and loose. Yeah. Can they play a delay game? Will that throw off their mojo? Bennett, good. With the first free throw. Bennett's got nine. She's a perfect three for three from the line. Peru as a team. Eight for nine as a team. Good again for Bennett. Make a nine for ten. That'll win you a lot of games. Eaton with the basketball. Eaton coming to the near side, now to Holloway. Holloway down in the corner. Holloway, cross-court pass to Watson. Watson, left wing. Watson picks up her dribble, goes up top, now to Eaton. Eaton has it, and she'll redirect. Eaton against Bennett. Down in the corner to Watson, back up to Eaton. Holloway with the basketball. Trailing by 12. Down low to Thomas. Thomas. Turns to catch it, and Eldridge is on the back side and stolen by the Tigers. Bennett with the basketball. Two and a half to go here in the contest. Down in the corners, the Tigers. Raber back up top to Bennett. Coach Weeks rightly said, hey, let's, yeah. let's spread him out a little bit. Like, you got a 12-point lead with 220 left. Bennett picks it up to oh. Wolf, and she slips and throws it out of bounds. And that's what we talked about. That's the fine line between being aggressive but not being reckless. And, you know, can they play that game where they run some clock? We'll see. But the Zebras need to convert that turnover to get a score here, or those turnovers don't really matter much. Holloway with the basketball. 2-10 to go here in the game. Watson has her three ball blocked, picked up by Thomas. And then Thomas is going to step out on the sideline as – he was still trying to go for the basketball, and Coach Weeks wants a timeout as well, and looks like it's going to be a full. It cool. is a full timeout with 2.05 to go in the contest. Zebras trail 37-25 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Back with more Giant FM Sports and RTC TV 4. Back here at Peru High School after the... Tiger time out. They'll have the basketball. Bennett bring it across the timeline, and she'll lose it out of yeah. bounds. Turnover, Tigers. That nice defense there by Lily Eaton got on Bennett's hip and kind of forced her to be out of control. Uh, Burkett came by and disrupted her just enough that she dribbled out of bounds. And smart play by Cammy to let it go out of bounds because Bennett touched it last. Under two to go. Tigers lead it 37-25 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Watson has it stolen by Rayburn. Rayburn out of Bennett. Bennett will take her time to walk it across the timeline. Gets it up to Rayburn. Rayburn against Holloway. And Holloway knocks it out of bounds. It'll stay with the Peru Tigers. Minute 33 to go. Rayburn to inbound. She gets it into Bennett. Bennett is guarded by Eaton. Bennett, the 5'6 junior. Now to Wolf, and Watson's going to get the foul, and Wolf will go back to the line to shoot two. Two now from here on out as uh, Kelly Watson picks up her second foul. 
minute 24. Randy Wynn, Tony Stasiak, glad you could join us here tonight. Coming up Saturday morning, the Zebras back in action. 11 o'clock JV start at McConaughey. Wolf's first free throw is good. Wolf a perfect 5 for 5 from the line, and that's her 10th point in the game. Saturday varsity will be about 12.30. We'll be on the air about 12.10. Wolf has just been a nice, steady senior presence tonight. All right, Bennett's been very dynamic, especially on the defensive end, but Wolf has been very steady on the offensive end. Bennett, excuse me, Eaton against Bennett. Top of the key, swings it left side now to Burkett. Burkett, Zebra's trail by 14 with a minute 10 to go. Watson with it. Watson to Holloway. Peru's been able to keep the Zebra guards up top. They just can't get by anybody. And Eaton Peru's throws up a running jumper, and Eldridge yeah. with the rebound. Yeah, the defense, is, the zero offense has just had really no rhythm uh, at all tonight. Under a minute to go. Bennett across the timeline. Bennett looking for Wolf. Now Wolf will have it top of the key. Now to Raber. Raber to Wolf. Penetrates, has it knocked loose, picked up by Holloway. Holloway with the basketball. Holloway then loses it, but it has the presence to knock it off of Peru. And we'll stay with the Zebras in the corner with 30.7 seconds to go. And here's here's the one thing that will be the big question is we said, you know, conference games always get scouted a little more heavily. Everybody's going to see this one in the conference, and you're going to probably continue to see this kind of zone until yeah. you, you have an answer for it. Down low to Thomas. Thomas now to Burkett. Burkett has it to Holloway. To Watson. Three on the way for Watson. Off the mark. No good. Rebound fought for. Burkett up and no good. Gets her own rebound, has it tipped, stolen by Bennett. Eldridge got it in the nose again, stolen this time by Thomas. But not only is it being scouted by TRC, but Coach Amor, who you play on Tuesday with the Lady Kings. As well as potential sectional opponent. Potential sectional opponent right. is here scouting this as well. And, and knowing him from his <laughs> his days at John Glenn, he, he favors a kind of a matchup, a 3-2-ish kind of zone. and. And I'm sure he's got a lot of notes, and you'll, you'll see something similar Tuesday night as well. So you're right. So there's, yeah, this, this gets out there. You're going to have to, uh, Zebra coaching staff is going to have to kind of go to the drawing board a little bit and come up with an answer for this kind of uh, type of zone. Burkett with the basketball underneath to Thomas. Thomas up and good at the buzzer, and that's going to do it. Your final tonight, the Peru Tigers defeat the Zebras 39-27. On the Rochester Glass scoreboard. When we come back, we'll have the post-game show being brought to you by Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins, the law firm built for your current and future legal needs. Again, the final here tonight in the varsity contest. Tigers over the Zebras, 39-27. Back with more after this. Giant FM Sports and RTC TV4.